girl take care of it all and today we're going to be unboxing the iphone 12 pro max so i'm not gonna waste your time we're gonna get straight into this like so first thing first it comes in this packaging when i first got the phone it comes with the little like charger kit the only thing is that the cord for charging it now is totally different from how it used to be it's like kind of like reminding me of like the macbooks how like they have this little like adapter towards towards them and then you have to like get your own base so basically they told us like we we're on our own and we have to do everything ourselves so not in my feelings whatsoever I feel like at a point it's coming to be like, are they gonna stop giving us a charger? Be like, buy the charger because it's like each year Apple keeps taking things out that you need because they want to have this trend of like having the smallest or the easiest to carry phones or MacBooks. And I'm just like, can y'all chill? Like nobody's competing with y'all. I mean, people are, but still, can you chill? Because this is like really unnecessary. Because it's like, why? Like, what would the adapter do to you? What would it do to you? You're busy adding stickers. Stickers. What time do you stick up to do? Give me an adapter. Rubbish. This phone surprisingly was already turned on even though I didn't turn it on yet so it's kind of weird but it keeps like telling me like hello in different languages but I'm just like in love with it. So talking about the phone and like how everything is made I like like the I used to hate the shape of it because compared to like because I'm going from an XR to this so this is like a huge upgrade. I love how it has like this mirror finish so it's like I can actually see my reflection like perfectly. If you look to the right of it you can see that it has a very big uh lock screen and then it has the little antenna right here which is for like for the 5g you can see like it has a little bit of some fingerprints welcome to the good life when i flip it this way my little silencing button if i pushed it up it has like an orange silence button i think the other ones are usually red so that's like a pretty cool thing to notice then it has the volume controls on this side I have my microphone and then my little charging station. You can see the camera. We can fry eggs on this. <laughs> like that little meme, if you guys remember the meme. And I got mine in gold. It kind of looks like not gold. It looks a little bit of like off-white, off-silver to me. I don't like the collections. Already starting with something negative. For the phone, I feel like there's exactly no difference between the 12 Pro Max and the actual 12 Pro. I'm going to put a, put like the other phone next to it. It's just the size. This one is literally you're paying for the size. And then like I did touch the 12. The There's so many. I can't remember what it is. But I touched the 12 and it was like it just was not for me. I was just like no because I wanted like something different and I wanted better camera quality. Not that like my other phone doesn't have a better camera quality because it does. But I just like when I touched the 12 and I went to Best Buy, I'm just like, this is not for me. So I'm not getting it. It is what it is. And that's on period. So before you get this phone, if you're not too sure if this is the phone for you, make sure you go and try and see if you can like hold it, touch it and see if it's for you. I am happy to have three cameras this time. So there's that. It also comes with this little pin that he helps you like transfer, transform, transfer your SIM from your old phone to like the new phone. Because I mean, if you don't do that, then you're kind of like pretty much screwed. So I'm gonna like start off with that. They always go with this little sticker thing, so I'm just like, who cares? Like, I don't know, I feel like, am I the one that doesn't care for this? So what are you meant to use this to do? Because I feel like ever since I got them, I never use them on my phone. I don't know, but that's, there's that. Um, this is the um, iPhone XR. I got it in red. I would've gotten the Pro Max, the 12 Pro Max in red too, but it don't have the good colors with this phone. Like, I feel like this new Pacific Ocean color they had and then the little like, grayish color they had there's this is just not doing for me usually iphones their gold or their wolf gold is like usually nice like and very detailed but this time around i was looking at it i'm like this looks very faint like i don't know when it comes to the colors of the pro max or the 12 pro i think the color scheme or the color choices are trash like i would have preferred to have my red phone still because i love my red phone but i'm still I'm also gonna keep my phone, but it's like, I wanted guys to show you guys like in comparison, sizing, like it's just a, really I'm just paying for a little bit of more extra headroom right there. That's pretty much, pretty much it. And I'm going from one camera to three. 
three cameras. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But like, I feel like the finishing of the XR, I know it's not an XR unboxing, it's kind of like that smooth curve and then this one is more like a sharp edge. So I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like it too. I'm not really, at first, at first I thought I wouldn't like it, but like now I'm touching it, I'm like, yeah, I like it. But anything, let's get, let's get into the customization of this phone. So it's asking me to swipe up to get started and then it's asking for what I want. I'm gonna choose English and then I'm gonna pick my country. It's gonna take forever. Looking for United States. Y'all see it? United Kingdom. Ah, uh -uh. what is United States now? I think it's under America. Let's see. This is so weird. Oh, I already had United States on there, so I just clicked. I have a quick start. I have to bring my iPhone next to my other iPhone. And then when I brought my iPhone next to each other, they both share the screen. So it's telling me unlock to continue. So I use my face ID to unlock it. And it's like literally gonna set up my iPhone and I click continue. And now, waiting for other iPhone. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. What? Oh, this is like so weird. So like I captured the two of them and then it starts to do a setup. And it's like enter passcode of your other iPhone into this phone. So that's what I'm going to do now. <coughs> I never have to do this myself, guys. Usually T-Mobile does everything for me, so it's kind of like... <sighs> I'm not the best. Usually T-Mobile does everything for me, so it's kind of like... <sighs> it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So now, it wants me to set up my face ID. So we're going to do that next. So now the next thing I'm going to do is transferring my data from my old phone to this phone. And why not? And it's telling me pretty much just how long it's going to take. So my phone is finally transferred. And it transferred my pictures and everything. So that's kind of cool. So now it's unlocked. So I had to do this part off camera. So I'm just wiping off my phone with some alcohol wipes and then I'm gonna dry it off with the little wipe thing. And my screen protector came with a red case, which is gonna help me put my screen protector on my case. At first I thought it was gonna be yellow, then I realized that you have to peel it off. And then I'm just like, oh wow, cause I was nervous. And it did have a lot of air bubbles cause I kind of pushed it down all at the same time, but I fixed it later on off camera. Mm. I don't mind the color anymore with the case on here because I feel like I'm going to keep getting creative cases for this because I just cannot, I just cannot come. I cannot. So content with this. So now the last thing to do is check out the camera. So with each camera um, quality, it's like in portrait mode, it has the 2.5, um, like you can zoom in that much and then the, the normal X is the normal. And then it still has the same features like the other phone. And then you can go to photo, you can go to video, you can go to slow-mo. Like, pretty much, is this still recording? And I just love everything I'm seeing on this camera. It's like amazing quality. Like, I'm impressed. But I'm gonna do another video, like testing out this camera. This phone was made for me. I was made for this phone. We were made for each other. My white balance is a, a slight bit off, but I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna like customize it so that I can make it fit the way I did my other XR. But I'm pretty much, I'm impressed. Yep, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and watch out for my unboxing of my Apple Watch coming up very soon.